You're looking at a daily chart of the NASDAQ. Welcome to my daily review. Today is Monday, August 26. You can see the NASDAQ fell 152 points or 0.85% and lighter than average volume, 9% uh, below the 50 day um, average volume. So the NASDAQ is the weaker of the indexes right now. I said, uh, you know, when it, when it sold off last Thursday, it needed to get back above that bar there about 18,017 couldn't do it you know lost 300 points that day it got back um uh, 258 on friday but then today it gave back you know the 185 so this is caution ahead of nvidia's report just like we had caution ahead of powell last week you know um the NASDAQ or the indexes are going to climb a wall of worry there's always going to be something to worry about this week it's nvidia there's a good chance they blow it out and the implied volatility is about nine and a half percent. So I could see NVIDIA trading up to 140 on um, Thursday. We'll just have to wait and see. The stronger indexes are the, um, well, of course, the Dow made a record high today. So that has to be the stronger index, right? It traded up to uh, 41,420. So an all-time high for the Dow. What's driving the Dow? I mean, this is really defensive, and the Dow has the ability to um, get rid of its, you know, weak stocks, and you know they put in their stronger stocks. So, um, so it stands to reason that over time the Dow is going to do well. Three uh, M up one and a half percent, which reminds me, I mean, when are they going to get rid of uh, Intel? Right, that's got to be coming. Uh, MMM was up, uh, you know, Disney was up 1.35%. You can see it's been in a downtrend, but maybe it's going to buck that trend now. And then Coca-Cola is a leader, is up 1.5% today and made a new high. So, you know, the Dow is looking good, but it's only 30 stocks. And some of the stocks in the group are with the um, NASDAQ here, which is Microsoft, which is selling off. And when these mega cap tech stocks sell off, I mean, it doesn't take much of a three trillion dollar company to sell off to start uh, funding some other areas. So we're seeing the sector rotation again. I'm going to get to that in a minute because these uh, mega cap tech stocks are selling off. The meta down, Amazon looks pretty bad as well. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, Tesla, Tesla today. This house looks bad. I'm now back below the 50. It's down more than 3%. Then NVIDIA, like I mentioned, they're having earnings on Wednesday. And that's going to be the tell for the week. If they report strong earnings, um, then the, the NASDAQ's probably going to rip, right? So you just got to wait. You can't sell everything and then wait for NVIDIA reports. And then once everything's higher, then you buy it back. You just kind of kind of sit tight. Unless you're down more than 5% on stocks and you got to get rid of them if you want to buy them back. You know, that's your prerogative. But um, I'm holding NVIDIA. I'm holding through earnings. But, you know, anything can happen with earnings. When I say 9.5% implied volatility, it could also go down $12, you know, down to, you know, one fourteen. There's no, there's no guarantees. Anything can happen on earnings. It is a crapshoot these days. All right, let's take a look at the IWM. which um, is just forming this base here. Pull back to its 200. Now trading higher. This one is really strong. It was actually up today while um, a lot of others were down. The MDY was down and so was the SPY. Just down, you know, quarter percent. Not a big deal. You can see the SPY is just consolidating here in a nice little base. So that looks pretty good. So the NASDAQ is the weaker of the indexes right now. So if they're selling... The mega cap tech stocks, what are they buying? They're buying oil and gas stuff like Enbridge, which is making a new high today. DTM. <clears throat> like I said, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much of a, um, you know, selling a $3 trillion stock to buy these little $7 billion stocks here. So uh, the, the, the rotation was healthy. It was, it was pretty... Um, the breath was good today, too. I wouldn't say great, good, but it, it wasn't bad. There's a lot of underlying strength in this tape. This is Chenier making a new high today. OKE, 
from one oak, you know, making a new high today. So the oil and gas, mostly the transport pipeline stocks did well today. Uh, the defensive names, Northrop Grumman, making a new high. I know they're not sexy, uh, but, you know, I'm just showing you that this is relative strength there. In the tape, they're selling uh, mega cap tech stocks and buying these more defensive names. Maybe that'll change uh, with NVIDIA's earnings, but um, you could see, you know, this is strength there, uh, making new highs. Anyway, defense was strong. Also, the insurance group, which is you know, highly inflationary. I do not like seeing these go higher, but all you have to do is look at your insurance premiums, and you know somebody's making money. Um, this is Arch Capital. It was only up a half a percent, but it did make a new high. Um, TRUP. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather today. TRUP made a new high, up 4%. Very nice. PRG, this one's just going parabolic. This thing's crazy. Progressive. Uh, you know, they're the ones with the uh, the funny uh, advertisements. Let's take a look at this one. You know, there's the breakout. Looking good. Um, that's not it. Come on, PGR. Progressive. There we go. PGR. Yeah, this one's going parabolic. Um, let's go back here. Yeah, we had this one on our ready list here, and then it broke out, and then I took it off, and it's just been going gangbusters ever since. You can see the earnings line heading due north. Progressive. These are the guys with the cute commercials. The guy with mayhem and everything, right? Laflack, another one. Um, nice commercials, making new highs. They're using all your uh, your money to make commercials. And I think Allstate too, right? Allstate, yeah, Allstate looks good. So a lot of these insurance, uh, Chubb, which uh, Warren Buffett just uh, bought, made a new high today. And then the one that I think needs to watch is uh, Heritage Insurance. This thing blasted off a low, made like a high tight flag pattern. If we look at the... Uh, the weekly and then it did this like for one week it made like a little shelf pattern and now up into five percent today so heritage there's your shelf big move higher a little shelf now five percent this is definitely one to watch big volume coming in on this thing it's only 15 dollar uh, stock here um supposed to earn over two bucks next year so definitely watch that one in you if i go to the finances finances were strong as well which you know with rates coming in, that stands to reason. That's logical. J.P. Morgan is another of the uh, Dow stocks that you know made a new high today. This is a you know six hundred and twenty three uh, uh, billion market cap. This is a big Kahuna, and it's uh, making new highs. So that bodes well for the financials, right? You don't think we're going to be having a recession if these financials are doing so well, Cincinnati. So with the 20 billion market cap made a new high today as well. The one that I had on my ready list that I kind of like is a Virtu Financial VIRT. And it made a new high today. So we like new highs. All right, I'm going to move on. <coughs> because in retail, there was um, some decent looking stocks, not a lot, but... Um, Cheesecake Factory, this is one that I didn't have on my ready list and I'm thinking about putting on. That one looks pretty good. And of course, Kava, this one blasted off on Friday and followed through today 3%. Very nice move. Some of my friends were shorting this thing. I'm going, you're absolutely nuts. You don't want to short strength. You want to short weakness. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. Uh, and the other one is Wingstop. I kind of like it. I like it above 400. It... Um, Broke above its downtrend line on Friday. You can see how many times it, that line hits like six times. Broke above it today. It was flat on this session, but that's that's good on a day like today. Uh, the energy names, uh, utilities. Uh, God, there's just a lot of stuff that looked pretty good today. This is a uh, next era energy, utility, electric power. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, what's in the... Oh, PCG, Pacific Gas and Electric. This is a California company. That one looks good as well. The other one was uh, 
alternative energy, clear away energy, making a new high, which reminds me about Powell. How is Powell doing? B-O-W-L. Yeah, that's forming a base. That should be on my ready list as well. This thing's showing great strength. Anyway, I can't put them all on. I got to be a little selective. Some of the food names doing well. Unilever, this thing's just going ballistic too. Uh, making new highs. And then Campbell's Soup. Um, they're going to report on Thursday, I believe. What is it? The 29th. Yeah. And this one's showing strength as well. So some of the food stocks are, are looking good. Um, I, I talked about, uh, you know, shorting. You know, when you short, you want to short weakness. And this is Elf that uh, came up to the 200 and got rejected here. You want to short weakness with, um, you know, the short term and longer term moving averages going south. And you don't want to, you don't want to short strength by Kaba. I think this is a, a factor of the, you know, Canada um, announced 100% tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles. And Elf is one of the few companies I heard saying that, you know, tariffs would hurt them. And so uh, they're more sensitive, I believe, to that kind of news. Anyway, there's, you know, it's a 9% drop just on Canada imposing tariffs on electric vehicles. Seems a little sketchy, but just technically, you know, it just got rejected at the 200. It, it traded below. It took a long time to get up to it and now rejected. So Elf is an avoid. Crocs is another one in the retail space. You, you know, pull back to its 50 today, but, you know, down more than 3%. You know, you don't like to see that. It's just building the right side of its base. So is Decker's. Another pullback to its 10 today. That looks a little better than Crocs. Uh, Burke, they report this week, 29th, Thursday as well. And the last one is, this one looks the best of the group, Bond Holdings. Why? Well, because it's making new highs. We like stocks that make new highs. Up uh, 3%. So Bond Holdings definitely looking good. Uh, anyway, that's it for the retail space. I just have a couple stocks on my ready list. I think I went through a couple of them already. I put Upstart on there. People were giving me a hard time. Like, Upstart, what do they do? Well, you know, I don't really care. You know, I don't, I, to be honest with you, I don't even know what they do. Consumer loans. But it's <clears throat> emerging out of a stage one base. So I put it on. It was up 2.74%. Also, it's in that market cap wheelhouse of, you know, $3.8 billion. Um, Anyway, it's just for a trade. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It, it performed well today. So so did uh, Vert, which is another one that was on our list. And then uh, Wix was on our ready list. And it looked like it was going to move higher today and then pull back. It was up like five bucks. Then pull back. Same with four, which uh, you know was flat in this session. It had news. They bought a company. And usually when you buy a company, the acquiring company goes down. But it was flat. I'm going to keep my eye on four. A um, couple other ones that we have on our ready list that I think still look good uh, is uh, App Loving, just right there at ninety dollars, and uh, ASPN. Yeah, it was up twelve cents. It is flat, but you know, just pulling back after a big move higher. Now it's pulling back for about you know, four or five sessions on lighter volume. So that one looks good to me as well. There's quite a bit of stocks looking good. You just got to be patient. Uh, after the um, uh, NVIDIA earnings, things are going to change for sure. This is a uh, Zeta Global Holdings. You know, I like it above the old uh, 2553. It was up today, you know, half a percent. Um, but, you know, it's a weak tape, so you, know, you can't expect much. And like I say, we're just waiting for NVIDIA earnings, and it's really, you know, caution ahead of that, much like. There was caution ahead of Powell last week. And then he, he delivered the news in the market rally. We'll see what happens this week. Anyway, that's it for me. I got to get healthy. Uh, I'm not feeling well. But anyway, in honor of the great Steve Jobs, I have one more thing. This week, I mentioned earnings. And there's a lot of earnings this week that uh, I was just looking at the board. And some of these could move uh, certain sectors. I don't think sitting on one will, but... They report tomorrow. So does Philip Van Heusen. Uh, yeah, they report uh, tomorrow after the bell in Nordstrom's. 
I don't think they're going to move much. Nordstrom's is uh, kind of like the old business model, but uh, we'll see what they have to say. Then on Wednesday, of course, NVIDIA, this is going to be the big one. And it's going to be, uh, it's not going to have pen action. It's going to be more like aftershocks after an earthquake when these guys report. And it's going to impact AMD, Qualcomm, uh, a Marvell, a lot of these uh, semiconductor names, Broadcom, because uh, they are the big kahuna. In retail, we have Abercrombie and Fitch. I believe they're going to report a good number. I don't know how the stock's going to react, obviously, but all they can do is deliver the numbers. Foot Locker is going to be an important for the shoes category. Uh, their CEO seems to have gotten it together. This thing's sitting right there at a buy point. I was going to put this one on this week, but they report earnings. We'll just wait and see. But this will impact Crocs and Skechers and On Holdings and Deckers because they sell a lot of different types of shoes there at uh, Foot Locker. Uh, Salesforce, this will uh, impact the software group for sure. It's a Dow company, $250 billion market cap. And then a couple of uh, data storage names, pure storage reports, and so does Intap on Wednesday. That actually looks pretty good. Nice sell-off, little base there, forming a handle. All right, Thursday we get Dollar General, more retail. Ollie is another one. That reports Thursday, and I mentioned earlier, Campbell's Soup. Uh, that stock showing a lot of strength. Burlington, B-U-R-L, reports Thursday, and so does uh, Birkenstock. So these are going to be, you know, important um, data points for the shoe group for sure with, you know, Foot Locker and Birkenstock and Abercrombie and Fitch even will, will affect that group. And then on Thursday... We get Dell, which is going to impact Supermicro and uh, Vertiv Holdings. You know, uh, Dell is a big uh, hardware name, and they have to deliver the goods for the AI space. They have not been doing that yet, so maybe the earnings are coming. Ulta Beauty, they report Thursday after the close. This thing's just in a nasty downtrend. Looks terrible. Needs a makeover. Marvell, uh, they report. Like I said, they're going to be. They're going to be impacted by NVIDIA, but they report Thursday. Gap Stores, Gap um, Inc., I should say, another one in that retail apparel shoe group. So we're going to get a lot of data points this week from that group. Then MongoDB, the software database group. Man, that thing looks terrible. Phew, trying to bottom out there. And then ESTC, a software name. Uh, anyway, we have all this to look forward to this week. It was kind of quiet today, but if you looked at the rotation underneath the surface, it was pretty healthy. Uh, it's just that the NASDAQ went down because of those large cap uh, tech stocks sold off. And that's healthy rotation longer term. Um, you know, they're not going to go up every day or every week. So you're not just going to be able to sit in Meta and Microsoft and just collect checks every every damn day. I mean, uh, they're going to go up and down. Stocks go up and down. And so Microsoft is a great hold. But it's being sold right now. So, you know, buyers will come back in eventually. But for right now, I mean, it's being sold. Same with uh, Meta. I mean, this is, at least it's above its 21. You know, down one, you know, Tesla too. I mean, the Tesla looks bad below its 50. These are being sold. But like I said, things can change. And on Wednesday, we'll know because if, NVIDIA delivers the goods, <laughs> the rotation will be right back into those tech stocks and out of those other stocks that I showed you, the energy and the oil and gas and the insurance. So that's just the way it works. Um, Money is flowing fast. It's flowing quickly. And if you just try to, you know, catch the, the shiny object, you're going to get burned in this market. You got to stick with your thesis. Obviously, stick with your strategies and your plans. And don't panic. You know, obviously, you're not going to take more than a 5% loss on any uh, stock. But uh, there, there are some stocks working. Um, and I'm trying to identify those uh, today for you. A um, couple, I didn't do any of the drug names. Harrow, this one is just, uh, it's, it's, on a, it's a one way stock, just one way higher. That's all it's doing. My goodness. That one looks fantastic. And same, I like Halo as well because it's got, you know, the earnings from growth, uh, sales growth profile. So a couple of good ones there. And of course, I like Lily, but, you know, like I said, it's not going to go up every day. 
it's just still forming this base here. That This looks pretty good to me. The closer you can get it to the 10, the better. I don't know how far above the 10 is right now, but Lily at 950 is 2.2% uh, above its 10. So maybe it'll just come and handle out this week down to the 10 and, you know, and trade higher in the next few weeks. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching at mcstockcharts.com. We never give up.